Well, welcome to the Elft Medication Safety Podcast. Alan, you've been looking at the um, incident reports uh, on Datex and you found that some drugs are associated with errors more commonly than others. Can you tell me a little bit about what you found recently? Yep, so if you look at this graph of 10 of the drugs that are most commonly involved in medication incident reports, you can see that lots of the drugs are things you'd expect to be used a lot in a mental health trust, so antipsychotics, benzodiazepines, uh, things like procyclidine, lithium, sodium valproate. But so it's not really a surprise that there are lots of those involved in medication incident reports because we use them a lot. But among all of those mental health drugs, there's also a physical health drug, cholecalciferol. Um, so it was actually involved in 15 incidents in the past two years. Um, which is the same number as involved promethazine and we use promethazine a lot more than we use cholecalciferol so it looked a little bit strange it looks like there's a kind of disproportionate number of errors involving cholecalciferol so can you tell me a little bit about cholecalciferol because it's not a commonly used drug as you described but it's um so not everyone will know actually what what, what yeah, it is yeah so cholecalciferol is vitamin d it's actually uh, vitamin D3 um, so it's really used to top up the levels for people who are deficient in the vitamin and right. quite often in this country people are deficient because they don't get exposed to enough sunlight which is how yeah. vitamin D gets made in the body sometimes it's also because of a dietary deficiency and vitamin D normally helps to regulate calcium and phosphate levels in the, the body which keeps the bones strong and healthy and just a bit of increasing evidence to show that it, it can be beneficial in lots of other conditions now as well. What sort of errors are people making with cholecalciferol? So there are a few different types of mistakes that we've seen um, and I guess I want to use this opportunity just to talk about some of those general types of error and they're definitely not unique just in cholecalciferol, it can happen with lots of different medications. So um, I'll talk about some general types of error involving cholecalciferol and hopefully that will have kind of um, learning that people can take from it when they're using other drugs as well. So I'd like to talk about one type of error specifically now and then maybe in our next okay. podcast we'll talk about some of the other types of sure. mistakes so today i'd like to talk about mistakes that um, are called look alike sound alike right. yes drug errors yeah so basically that's where a drug has a name that looks very similar to the name of another medication or it has a name that sounds similar to another medication okay. So what sort of drugs are being confused with cholecalciferol? So the one that we've seen in this organisation is that a patient was prescribed cholecalciferol but they were actually administered colchicine which is a medication for gout. Right. Um, so, and it was probably because of the similarity between the yeah. two names that that happened. And we've also seen um, cholecalciferol being mixed up with cholestyramine which is a drug used to reduce cholesterol and then the other forms of vitamin D can sound quite similar right. to cholecalciferol as well okay. so things like ergocalciferol and calcitriol. Okay all right that's very helpful. Uh, colchicine of course is very toxic isn't it so I mean it's a, a serious Yeah yeah it can uh, be error. if you take too much of it. Yeah. Okay so I guess the message is that you have to be aware that this can happen, that yeah. there's lots of drugs with uh, a name that's very similar sounding. It's not a drug that we commonly prescribe, so it's easier, you're not as aware of the drug as you are of sort of more commonly prescribed mental health medications, uh, and you have to really carefully check yeah, uh, exactly. that the medication that you're giving is the, is the correct yeah, one. Exactly, and so if a drug name looks in any way unfamiliar to you, make sure you double check, don't okay. just assume right. that you've got it right. Okay, thank you very much, Emma. That's been very helpful. Okay. Thank you.